high brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I have a very important vision to share with you guys that a brother in, in Christ named Chris had. And he had this vision where he had this vision um, when he first really became a Christian. And I told he told me about it and I encouraged him to send me an email of exactly what he saw. And I decided I'm going to make a video about it. But before I do, like always, I want to encourage you to go to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, Muslim Man Died, Met Jesus, and Then Converted. If you simply go down to the comment section, you'll see that I've uploaded a long comment that has a bunch of evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, I want you guys to read the evidence and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you to read it, but please spread this. You can copy, paste it, and post it on social media. You can post it under your YouTube videos or to get the printable version on my channel, I made a video where I include a link to the printable version of this comment that prints nicely on one page. You can print that out and give it to people. Thank you. Now I will talk to you about Chris's vision. Okay, now getting on to the vision and the email he sent me. I'm not going to be reading to you everything that he sent, but I'll just I'm just going to be reading to you the parts that I think are most important. So he wrote, my life path changed forever on 9-11. I was there and had an inherent feeling that something wasn't right about the official story. I suffered anxiety and nightmares and panic attacks. Then I went into an alcoholic depression. That's when I met my son's mother and moved to Pennsylvania. When I got there, when I got here, the area was full of churches and the area was a Christian Amish con con country. I started to seek answers about life and then my neighbor who was a pastor at a local local church invited me to go to church. I felt like God was leading my path, so I decided to go to church. Because my life was in despair, I wasn't sure if Jesus was real. One day in church, I decided to accept him into my life and began diligently seeking him. I got baptized four years ago and kept doing extensive research into all religions, the leaders of the world, the system I had despised. Then I decided to check if there was any facts about all the conspiracy theories I've heard all my life, especially about 9-11. So I went down into the rabbit hole and researched the occult Freemasons, Illuminati, and the plans for a new world order. That's when I had a crisis and prayed to Jesus for forgiveness. And he was merciful to me, a wicked sinner deserving of hell. Then he showed me an open vision, and, and at first I saw a glimpse of heaven with golden rays shining through the clouds. Then I felt sorrow for what the Lord endured for my sins on the cross at Calvary. I wept un uncontrollably and mourned his unjust persecution. Then he showed me two faces of evil that are already in power. First face was Obama and second was Pope Francis. After that vision happened to me, I frantically searched scriptures and I found Acts 2.17 seemed to relate to what I, ha what I experienced. I pray that lost souls take heed to my vision and seek the Lord Jesus Christ for their salvation. Wow, this vision that the brother in Christ shared with me, I mean, it's great. He, he got to see into heaven and he saw two faces of evil that are in power. First, he saw Obama. Second, he saw Pope Francis. I can relate to what Chris saw because God has revealed to me that Obama is the future Antichrist. Um, God has not given me any specific revelation about Pope Francis. Like I haven't had a vision or a dream about Pope Francis. So I can't say for sure that Pope Francis is the false prophet from the book of Revelation. But it could very well be. Um, I just personally haven't received any revelation. But what he said about Obama, I haven't received any revelation about Pope Francis to say. But what he said about Obama, I can relate. When he says um, first face was Obama. I mean, God has literally showed me that Obama is the future Antichrist. So I agree with that. And also, uh, um, he said that he saw a glimpse of heaven with golden rays shining through the clouds. I mean, the vision I had of Jesus, I mean, Jesus was shining. And another dream I had um, when I saw into heaven, Jesus, coming, Jesus was coming down from heaven. I mean, I could relate to what Chris is sharing here because I personally have have had similar uh like dreams and visions about heaven, about Jesus, about Obama. So I know Chris is not lying. He's telling the truth because his visions um, are go hand in hand with mine to say the least. So 
this was Chris's vision. If you guys want to hear about my visions, my my dream of Obama, my vision of how I saw God, my vision of how I saw Jesus, my vision of how I saw heaven. Um, I shouldn't really say my vision. I, I should say the vision that God blessed me with, but that's kind of too too long. So I just shortened it. I say my vision, but it's really, it's it's God's vision that he blessed me with. So I'll include a link to those in the description box, in the description box of the video. So you can also check those out. And also in a final note, in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about end times, fulfilled Bible prophecy, things like that. So if you guys are interested, um, read that also. I think you'll find that to be quite interesting and use that as a warning. Thank you for listening. God bless. And like always, all glory to God.